Hi, I'm Olivia from Ohio, and my crazy story will make you rethink your circle of friends. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. My mom screamed perfection. And I know what you're thinking. Every kid thinks their mom's perfect, but mine actually was. She was a successful lawyer, had won multiple awards, and everywhere she went, people would trip over their shoelaces to get a glimpse of her. Next to her, I looked like an ogre that no one noticed. People didn't even believe I was her daughter. When I was 10, mom and I were taking a stroll in the park when this man walked up to us. I was watching you from across the park, and I have to say, you're gorgeous. Do you mind grabbing a cup of coffee? Thank you, but I'll pass. You see, I'm with my daughter. It's so sweet of you to adopt this kid and call her your daughter. Goes to show that you're more than just a pretty face. And you're a bigger moron than you look. I kicked the man hard in his shin, and he started whining like a baby. Mom apologized, dragged me back home, and gave me a big lecture on being polite. But I didn't care. All I wanted was to look pretty like Mom. So the next morning, I woke up early, took a pair of scissors, and gave myself a haircut. I thought I looked pretty amazing. Until Mom saw me and screamed like a banshee. What have you done, Olivia? It's cool, right? Now I look just like you. You look like a shaved raccoon. Mom rushed me to a hairdresser who tried his best, but there was hardly anything left for him to do. The next day at school, everyone pointed and laughed at me. It was so humiliating. Things didn't change much even as I grew up. I was an A-grade student, but wasn't half as popular as the pretty girls in my school. Then one time in ninth grade, I saw this MSA video where this girl used makeup and it totally transformed her face. And I was hooked. I saw a bunch of makeup tutorials to get my look right. And when I was done, I looked like a totally different person. Mom and I had a wedding dinner to attend that night and people couldn't stop complimenting me. Oh, you're so pretty, like a fresh lily, just like your mother. I'd never felt so visible, and it was all because of makeup. It made me feel so pretty and confident. I got better and better, and by 16, I started my own YouTube channel where I taught makeup. One of my videos went viral overnight, and I got famous. Girls in my school flocked around me asking for makeup tricks. That eye makeup you did was flawless, Olivia. Your foundation technique is to die for. Make a TikTok with me, please. The girl pulled me into her camera's frame, but just then, someone pushed her away. It was Mia, the head cheerleader and the most popular girl in school. Ew, please don't drag Olivia into your dirty TikTok videos. She's a YouTuber, she's literally royalty. Hi, babe, <laughs> you know who I am, right? Let's hang out for lunch, and by the way, cute dress. I was stunned as Mia led me to her table and introduced me to all her friends. One of them was Max, the school football captain, and my all-time crush. He pulled out a chair for me. You know, Oliver. Olivia. Potato, potato. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm something of a YouTuber myself. I'm a fashion stylist, art curator, singer, songwriter. I do it all. I work very hard. That's amazing. My mom says hard work is the key to success. Oh no, sweetheart. I mean, I work very hard on myself. It takes effort to look so flawless. Wanna go on a date with me? The most popular guy in school was asking me out on a date. So obviously I said yes. Max and I hung out a bunch of times and I was totally crushing over him. At school, I was finally in the cool league now. Mia and I went shopping to parties, skipped school for movies. It was so much fun. But between hanging out with friends and making YouTube videos, I could hardly concentrate on my studies and failed a test. Mom found out and she wasn't too happy. Skipping classes, flunking tests? What's happening to you, Olivia? Relax, mom, it's just one test. Besides, it's high school, I'm supposed to have fun. You're also supposed to be getting into college and I don't see that happening with these grades. You're acting like a totally different person. And maybe that's not such a bad thing since I'm tired of living under your shadow, mom. I'm my own person and I know how to make my own decisions. Saying that, I rushed to my room. I felt kind of bad for being so rude to mom, but I was too mad to apologize. But mom didn't give up. And the next day at school, she asked one of my teachers to assign me a tutor to help me with my studies. I was waiting for my tutor in the library when a really nerdy girl walked over to me. You're Olivia, I'm Grace, your tutor. 
Let's start. Grace pulled up a chair, and I couldn't help noticing her mismatched shoes. Yeah, yeah, I know my shoes don't match. It's just the other one was wet and I was in a hurry. And before you ask me, yes, I only own two pairs of shoes because that's all you need. Now, let's start with science. Grace and I worked all afternoon, and I could tell she was really smart. We were just wrapping up when Mia showed up with Max. <laughs> OMG, this is your tutor? Where did you get that dress? It looks like it was made out of your grandma's curtains. Wow, what a cool guess. She was giving her curtains away to Goodwill. I told her I could get a use out of them for another 10 years. <laughs> You're such a dork, man. <laughs> right, Olivia? Um, yeah, totally. <clears throat> I shamefully joined in as Mia and her friends made fun of Grace. I thought Grace would act out and throw a book at us or something. But she simply smiled and walked away. Later that day during gym, everyone was in the pool while I just sat outside and reflected on how I'd behaved with Grace. She was trying to help me and I'd been a jerk to her. I was lost in my thoughts when Max walked up to me. You're not coming in? No, I'm scared of water. Oh, don't be a scaredy cat. Saying that, Max started pulling me into the water. I wasn't ready for him to see me without my makeup on, so I started pulling away, but he just laughed and splashed water on me. My heart started beating faster, and I was about to pass out when Grace came to my rescue. Let her go, you moron. Grace took me to the bathroom as I tried catching my breath and shoved a paper bag into my hands. I... I... don't want... to throw up. Just breathe in and out. You just had a panic attack. Oh wait, you know what? My mom had this super amazing way of dealing with panic. With that, Grace hugged me tight and started rocking me back and forth. Snuggle, snuggle up, little baby, no need to fear. Mommy's here, we'll soon be out and you'll be free. Okay, okay, I'm fine. Thank God my makeup is waterproof or it would have been a disaster. That's what you were worried about? I thought you were scared of water. Thanks for saving me. And listen, I'm sorry for acting like a jerk earlier. I was mad at Max for days, but he apologized a million times, so eventually I let it go. Grace and I continued hanging out for our tutoring sessions and slowly became friends. Even my grades were up again, and Mom couldn't be happier. I'd never met anyone like Grace before, and I was fascinated. While everyone dressed up in fancy clothes, Grace would wear what made her comfortable, no matter how silly she looked. While we shopped for expensive stuff from malls, Grace made her own jewelry and hardly ever used makeup. But I could tell Mia hated Grace. She was always passing death glares at Grace and hardly missed an opportunity to comment on her hair or clothes. Then one day, I invited Grace over for lunch at my table. We were eating when Mia spoke. Guys, so you know how my mother is a tea leaf reader from India? And she was amazed by my reading yesterday. She says it means I'm either going to be very rich or very famous. <laughs> As if. Excuse me? You have a problem with what I said? Logically, yes, I do. How can crushed wet leaves predict your future? They can. I have photos. You can see it's clearly written that my future is... I guess your future's garbage because that's what I see here. You know what you should really see? A mirror. Maybe that's when you'll know what a freak you are. Why do you hate me so much? Because you're a nerd and a loser, and I don't understand why you're even sitting with us. All I am is different, and maybe you're too close-minded to handle something you don't understand. There she goes with that psychology talk again. All I hear is blah, blah, blah. Told you, Olivia, she's a certified weirdo. <sighs> You're so, so unreasonable. An unreasonable jerk. Mia got furious and pushed Grace off her chair. Grace fell and broke her glasses. She then got up and pushed Mia away, and the two of them got into a huge fight. It took all my strength to pull them away. I dragged Grace to the side. What is your deal? She hit me first. You insulted her. She called me a weirdo. I thought you didn't care about what people said. I don't, but I also don't like being humiliated publicly. You want Mia to like you so bad, you don't even have the courage to take my side even though I'm right. That's not true. Tell yourself that. Grace stormed off, and after that day, she simply stopped talking to me. She canceled our tutoring session and totally ignored me in class. Meanwhile at home, 
mom told me something shocking one day. Apparently, one of her clients was suing her for presenting false evidence in a case, and mom ended up paying really heavy damages. Mom and I had savings, but with the rent, school fees, and other expenses, we needed to figure out a way to get some money in. That's when Mia gave me a way out. My aunt's starting a herbal makeup line, and I'm sure she'll pay you a lot of money to endorse her products on your channel. If you want, I can talk to her tonight, and we can start shooting ASAP. Sounds great. Uh, thanks, Mia. Of course, darling. What are friends for? The next day, I met Mia's aunt, and she agreed to pay me a million dollars for the endorsement. We started shooting right away, and everything was on track. The video was uploaded a week later, and everyone loved it. The money I got was enough to get mom out of trouble, and she was back in business. But a week later, I woke up to people screaming outside my house. I checked my phone and was shocked to see people calling me a liar, a cheat. And I was facing a lot of hate on social media. My heart sank reading all the comments. Apparently, Mia's aunt used cheap chemicals in her skin line, and people were complaining of severe skin issues. I immediately pushed an apology video saying that I had no idea, but no one believed me. Since Mia's aunt wasn't answering my calls, I rushed to Mia's house to get an explanation when I saw she was having a party. I instantly spotted her on the porch, making out with Max. What the heck, Max? I thought you liked me. I did, but then I saw what a fraud you are, and I don't want your tainted reputation ruining mine. I'm not a fraud. Mia's aunt is, and now she's not even answering my calls. And you, Mia, go on record and tell my followers that I had no idea those products were harmful. And why should I do that? It's not my problem that you didn't do your homework. You should have checked those products before endorsing them. I trusted you. We were friends. And I did you a favor, as a friend. But yeah, that aunt of mine's always been kind of shady. She wanted me to be the face of her fraud line. Imagine the horror if I would have said yes. Aunt needed someone stupid and popular enough to spread the word about her brand, and you stepped up. Now, if you're done, you're interrupting my date, and I'd like you to leave. Mia went back to kissing Max, and I was furious. I noticed a cat litter in the corner of the kitchen, and I picked it up and dumped it on Mia's head before storming out of the stupid party. I was in the parking lot when I saw Grace waiting for me. What are you doing here? I wanted to make sure you were okay, and look, I recorded the whole conversation with Mia. Upload this on your channel, and everyone will know what lying pieces of poop Mia and her aunt are. And then what? I know how horrible cyberbullying is, and I don't want another person to go through it. So you're just gonna let this go? Nope. We'll show this video to the police and let them take action. And after it's all behind us, there's something else I want to talk about on my channel. I've spent my entire life feeling invisible and not good enough and makeup was my way to get noticed. But I just attracted shallow, awful people like Mia and Max. The only people worth having in your life are those who don't make you feel like you need to be someone else to be accepted by them. Did you hit your head on the way out? You're sounding like me. Well, you're the one who showed me that originality is our biggest superpower. So that's what I'm going to do. I still love makeup, but I won't lose sight of who I am as a person anymore. And I won't hide behind it. If I can become popular once, I can do it all over again. You with me? Always. Great, because I'm gonna need your help. And your macaroni necklace, too.